Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and today uh, we are going to be running the Eagle River Railway. If you don't know who I am, my name's Mitch or King 8 on YouTube, and we are going to be running the Eagle River Railway route from Jointed Rail today. Over the course of the next few videos, we will be running all of the sessions featured here on the Eagle River Railway route. Once again, this route is from Joint Rail, and it is a payware route. All the content shown in this video will is payware from Jointed Rail, so you will have to buy the route. All the content comes with the route. So, without further ado, let's hop into the first session that we have to run here, which is session number one, Monday, Route Learning. Welcome to the Eagle River Railway. Today we will have a fairly straightforward run ahead of us. Beginning in Beaver Cove, we will cover we will couple to the recently unloaded log cars and take them to the and take them the length of the route to Camp B near Keene. Along the way, you will learn about the air about areas of interest and information on the railroad. So, with that said, let's begin. We're going to operate her in uh, realistic mode. Hopefully my frame rate looks okay here for you guys. Seems to be okay for me. Good, after good afternoon driver, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard and welcome to the Eagle River Railway. Today we have a fairly straightforward run ahead of us. Beginning in Beaver Cove, we will couple to the recently unloaded log cars and take them the length of the route to Camp B near Keene. Along the way, I will try to point out areas of interest and information on the railroad. Firstly, reverse your local your locos and buffer car and buffer cars to couple to the log spines. I'm using my rail driver here. We're in reverse. Let's go to outside view so I have a better look of what I'm doing. Put DPI down my mouse so it isn't as insane here we're all right speed them in the yard is 15 but I don't want to get going too fast here I hope the the game audio is working all right. Let me give it a bit more there. Crap, switch screens, oh crap. Well, we're already gonna fail this session if I don't slow it down. This is the main unloading facility for logs. Logs are taken off trains here in Beaver Cove and are and dumped into the water where they are floated down to the main lumber mill farther down the coast. On the left we have the branch line to the 
town site. The, it rarely sees use now, except for the weekly passenger excursion on Sunday. When ready, proceed. You are clear to proceed up the main. All right, here. Let's get back on our locomotive. Headlights. Lights on high, so our ditch lights are working. All right, we're clear to part here. We want to start by easing the train out of its spot here slowly. Porter on up to notch two here. Speed limit's 15, so we don't want to go over that here in our yard. Let's see. We're getting up here. Speed. Just bear with me here as I'm rather new to operating in realistic mode here. I usually, I used to operate in DCC mode all the time. But uh, I have a rail driver now so I'm able to run stuff a bit more realistically. Right, let's try to climb our train here above. This we have a 0.44% grade here. A minor grade, but it seems to be just enough holding our that it's holding our train back from accelerating past 12 miles an hour in notch one. Let's try putting her down a notch one here. I don't want to go directly on 15 miles an hour. Now, let me know if you guys like these longer form operation based videos. This video will probably be part one of the first session. From uh, We'll probably do part one here from Beaver Cove here to Keene. From Beaver Cove to Keene. And then, epi then part two of the first session will probably be from there up to the lumber mill. But we'll see how long it takes us to get here to from Beaver Cove, which is here. We're exiting Beaver Cove right now to uh, the place... To, uh, up at Keene. Then we'll judge about how much longer it'll take us to operate. Why are we? Why are we like? Right, speed appears to go up to 30 here. 
All right, we have a clear signal here, uh, so that means we're gonna proceed to the Eagle River. Crap, I just realized I'm gonna have a speed limit. It's only 15 through here, we can't go faster than that yet. We've just crossed Eagle River for the first time and coming up on the line at the pulp mill in Beaver Cove. We'll visit this later in the week. No, let, let's go outside the cab and get a better look at the route here. So, we're crossing the Eagle River right now. Oh, I like those wheel sounds. That sounds much more realistic than the base game wheel sounds. Pretty sure I put some of the custom wheel sounds on stuff so that it sounds a bit more realistic. Let's get a Ralphian style shot of it here. Alright, we're clear to proceed up to 15. I mean 30 miles an hour here. So let's get our train moving here a bit faster. Now, obviously we're going to have to keep in mind the, uh, like, where we are, like, the speed limit and stuff. We're getting up to about 25. I don't want to go above notch 2 because I don't want to get going too fast. I've already learned my lesson about that. It turns into 20. In about, in about a half mile here, it turns into 20 miles an hour, so. I think we'll be fine cruising along at this speed because I don't want to go really above it. Honestly, we're, we're still in a 30 limit, so I don't want to go. We have almost one and a quarter grade here. We're already running 20. I just don't want to go above the uh, speed limit. Because then I'll lose points on the session. Uh, and stuff. Now, in the future, I do plan on trying to uh, do some route speed builds for you guys. So, those will be coming soon. I will also still be trying to produce some trains rail fanning videos. Um, I think my next planned one is going to be the pencil, the Pennsylvania and Berwind. Since I have content for that. But, uh... We'll see how I'm feeling about doing stuff like that, especially once I uh, start producing the speed builds. Now, the speed builds will probably only come out every... I, I'd assume they'd only come out probably every couple of... It'd probably only be every... It'll probably be every few weeks that there'll be a speed build coming out. 
I also do want to apologize for the lack of content that has been coming out recently. It's not that I haven't had... Yeah, I, now, I, I'm not going to lie. The past couple of weeks, uh, I have been running... I've been having little to no... time to play this game during the actual week, but this last week I really had no excuse for not having at least one video out to you guys, so uh, I do apologize for not releasing stuff. Um, Alright, in a moment we will descend and run along the lake, prepare for a sharp, sharp curve with a 15 mile per hour limit ahead. All right, Roger that. We have about, we have about, we have a little bit here before I have to start slowing it down here. We're gonna start putting some brake here so we don't go over 20 miles an hour. I don't want to. Well, guess what? I ended up going down to 15 early anyways. I mean, it's fine. Just, uh, gotta acknowledge that the curve is a bit sharp. I really like the amount of detail that Scratchy, who is the person from Joint Rail who built this route, put into it. And I'll be taking inspiration from a lot of his routes, like, like Coal Country, Eagle River, like Coal Country and Eagle River here, to construct my own. In order to construct my own uh, route for this game, um, if you have any suggestions of where we should base the route, I was thinking, I was thinking somewhere in the Pacific Northwest building a route sort of like Eagle River here using a lot of the same assets but again trying to not make the route seem exactly like exactly like Eagle River because it would be something that people would notice immediately uh, I will be doing a route speed build hopefully s hopefully the first episode will be coming out why are we that makes no sense why did we stop come on don't make me put her in a why did we freaking stop I didn't ask you to stop come on keep moving that just ruined the whole mood right there. Like I said, I am new to doing this. I was, I, okay, I'll admit it. I wasn't paying attention. Now I know he used the grassy grass blinds I know if I don't shut those brakes off immediately, it'll just stop the entire train. Actually, Alright, we are passing the ballast quarry in Chidlow siding on the left, and, uh, and approaching the campground on the right. Once we leave the lake, we'll climb the steep grade, we'll, we'll take, we'll climb the steep grade denial. Alright. Another 30 mile an hour limit. Let's let's get her on rolling here. 
No, I'll, I'll do another rough hand shot. How long do I have? I have about I have a decent distance before I have to slow her down for the 20 mile an hour limit up here. No gates at this crossing. All right, we'll we'll, we'll catch him heading past the old signal here. No more throttle. Yeah, that was cool. About a half mile here before we, uh, have to slow back down into a 20 mile an hour zone. So once we get once we get a bit farther up here, I'll probably start breaking her on down to uh, 20. Honestly, I think this curve or something in here should be about that. This the my frame rate does look to be a bit laggy for you guys, so I don't know what I'll have to do to try to correct that. We're already running close to twenty anyways and I see the uh board up here for twenty. We have another crossing too. I think this I think that means we should start activating the uh, thing. Alright, we're running 20 miles an hour anyways here. Oh yeah, that's right. We have that work zone up here. Then we'll have to... Alright, our grade's starting to increase here. Probably gonna have to give her a notch. Probably gonna have to give her a notch or two at throttle here to... Alright, we have an on two percent grade I think two notches or more are gonna be needed here if we climb below 15 but notch three is on here said due to and Really gonna have to start giving her throttle here to climb grade. We don't want to be holding up any trains that may be ahead of us. 
or behind us on the railroad. Then again, this is a short line, not a main line. Now, if I do make this route, I'll probably... When I do make this route, I'll probably be using a lot of the assets from this route. So, uh, if you would want the route whenever it's released as freeware, you would need the uh, Eagle River stuff. As I'm not... A, able to include it because it's jointed rail payware. Starting to on down here. Here's where they're doing bridge maintenance. I'm off to use our train on down here to A 10 mile an hour speed limit. You also don't want to stall. And we don't want to stall here. Goes below eight here. I'm gonna have to give her some more throttle. We're gonna resume normal speed, which is. Money past that sign. Like I said, I'm off to look into what are some of these assets that are used here to achieve this look. Because this is the look I want to go for on my own route, too. It looks really nice, and I'm going to want to go for the same look. This is Nile, an old logging camp that burned down many years ago and was never rebuilt. The two sidings here are here are mainly used for storing defective cars and the occasional loading of honey when it isn't seasoned. Right, we have permission to proceed up to uh, 20 miles an hour now, so we're going to give her some throttle and get her back up to track speed. Also, let me know if you guys would like to see some Run8 videos, as I am now a member of a Run8 server on Discord, so I could probably do some Run8 stuff, of course, with the permission of the others in the group, because I don't want to do that without, others, without the people that would be in the video's permission, because that could cause conflicts, and I don't want people... Uh, getting nasty towards me because I included them in a video without their permission. So. I will be operating other payware routes that I have, such as the Drybrook and Sopus Valley. Uh the Monongahela in western Pennsylvania, which I, I think I'm going to do the Monongahela in western Pennsylvania 
around winter time since for anyone who knows that route it's set in winter but I also don't want my channel to become a hundred percent these just operating videos uh, I could try to do other games like farming simulator and stuff but I think since m my main I don't know since since my main fan base here on YouTube is based around trains with a Z, which is this game. Uh, I don't think it would be a very smart idea for me to go and uh, use um, not use, but start doing videos on other games that aren't even related to trains. I don't know, maybe you guys will like that. Let me let, also let me know that in the description down below this video. Uh as for upload plans, I I am honestly uh unsure of the Up, I, I can't really stick to an uploading schedule. I would just like to get videos out. Uh, at a reasonable rate. Not making a video every couple of weeks. Uh, judging by the amount of time here in OBS that I've been recording... Uh, I think we're going to have to split this video into two parts. I'm going to have to uh, have the first part be me running the train from... Uh, oh, crap. I just read our in downgrade here. So that's going to have to be... Uh, I don't want to have my turn on too hard here. I have a bunch of crossings who come into this community. Yeah, we're going to have to breaking out. No, this is end down dynamics.
Uh, I also have the uh, KNL excursion packs, the two excursion packs for this route from Joint Rail. So not Joint Rail, I mean KNL trains. So uh, that will probably be a uh, that'll probably be another uh, video for you guys. Uh, I am going to maybe try to get into doing some fictional railroading stuff. I just don't know of any good railroad names or anything that I could do. That's another thing that I would probably like to get some suggestions on just to have some ideas of what I'm doing. We are approaching Myrtle Creek. The bridge, the bridge here is the tallest on the railroad. The yard serves as a meet point for trains and for sorting cars to Camp A, the branch for which we will peel off shortly. From here it is all downhill to the town of Keene. I would like to get some suggestions on what I could do for the uh, build. On what I could do for the I'll cruise on down here to Keen, and then we're definitely going to have to split this video into two parts. Which, part two will be uploaded whenever I get time to make part two to the video. Or mainly, whenever I feel like operating trains again in this game. Or when I feel like playing this game again, period. So, I, I'm not gonna do it like other YouTubers do. Like, where they're like, oh, I'm going to upload a video, like, whenever. Like, they have an actual upload schedule. I'm not going to have an upload schedule. I'm just going to make videos whenever I, one, feel like it, and two, have time to do it. I don't remember if I did the horn blow before this. Like I said, if you want to get this route whenever it gets done and I release it as freeware, you're going to need for sure the Eagle River route, which is this amazing route right here. It is $40, I think, from uh, Joint Rail. I actually think uh, Scratchy uh, or Joint Rail, because it's a Trains of New Era built route, lowered the price of it. At least this route, that at least this new route that I'm going to be making, the first of the routes that I'm going to be making for you guys and stuff, is going to be uh, definitely going to be freeware because it'll use payware assets from Joined Rail, and you'll have to 
by the Eagle River route to be able to uh, have those dependencies. Now, uh, I will uh, be kind and make a version of the route that does not contain these dependencies. As I do understand that some people can't afford a $40 route. I'll, I think Joy Rail dropped the price to like 25 but even some people don't want to pay that for a route. Just to run another route. But I, I, I'm, I, I am not paid to say this. I am not. I just, I'm just, I'm not influenced in any way by Joy Rail. They probably don't even know I exist. But, Joy Rail probably doesn't even know I exist. But, I just really feel that you should buy this route. If you can afford it, it's a really nice route. It provides... It provides more to do in this game than just the built-in stuff and uh, the sometimes and the sometimes crappy jointed rail, not joint rail, not joint rail stuff is not crappy. Now some of the older stuff is, but uh, yeah, some of their older stuff's a bit crappy, but uh. That's us made in like trains 2012, so it's kind of eh. Um, crawling across the bridge. But, like, some, if, if you've even been on the download station, which I hope you have, uh, like, the stuff on there, some of it's solid. Other stuff on the download station is, re is really crap. Uh... I have personally discovered some routes that, like, the thumbnail looks good, but it's like, oh, this same thing with pieces of, like, rolling stock and, uh, locomotives and stuff. Like, I've discovered stuff that I'm like, ooh, this, by the, th looking at the thumbnail, I'm like, ooh, this looks good, but, uh, like, I'll, I'll download it, and then I'll see that it's absolute garbage it's like that now what's really good is that trains is starting to unsupport older versions like trains 2004 and 2006 and getting rid of that I'm pretty sure they're get working on getting rid of uh, the stuff on the download station that is from that era of trains because it just it doesn't look good. I know there are still some people, for whatever reason it may be, play, like, Trains 2000, uh, play, like, Trains 2004, or 2006, even. Like, there are people that still play those games, and that's perfectly fine. As, as far as I'm personally concerned, whatever makes you happy, makes you happy. Like, I'm still playing Trains of New Era mostly. I only play Trains of New Era mostly because it's the game of trains that makes me happy the most. Now, some people are like, ooh, you're using Tain. Upgrade to TRS-19. Honestly... I'll, I'll just state my opinion here. I'm, I'm honestly sick and tired of it. People constantly being like, Oh, Trains of New Era is crap. No, it isn't crap. It's just... I, I've heard that Joy Rail is unsupporting Tane, which is just a sign that... Yeah, 
I, I really should move move up and start doing my stuff more in trains 2019 slash trains 2022. I think I might honestly move straight from Tane to trains 2022. I already have it installed, but I think I want to move my stuff directly from Tane to 2022 because, uh, I honestly want to just be able to, uh, I just want to upgrade to the version of the game that will be in, uh, that will be in support the longest. So, I don't have to worry about consistently updating my trains version to the latest version. As 22 is the latest version of the game. I don't want to do the minor step from Tane to uh, 19. It's actually a quite large step. But, uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to move directly from Trains of New Era all the way up to Trains 2019. Not up to Trains 2019 and then have, in like a few months, decide that I'm going to move my stuff again up into Trains 2022. Now, I've heard that Trains, I've heard from multiple people on Discord that, uh, Trains 2022 has much better optimization than Trains a New, not Trains a New Era, than, uh, 22, not, then 19. I've heard that Trains 2022 has better optimization. I've essentially heard that Trains 2022 is basically Trains a New Era, but with Trains 2019 graphics. It's a lot more tame than uh, the other versions of the game. And I've also heard that Trains 2022 is a lot more laggy, but I'm pretty sure 22 is more optimized than Trains A New Era is, and it therefore makes Trains A New Era, it, it therefore makes 19 a bit more obsolete. Now, one thing I do, one problem that I do have with the more modern versions of the game are is a T, I'm pretty sure TRC TRC I know for sure doesn't work in Trains 2019 SP5 but uh, I know that I've heard from friends who have built routes in 22 that uh, also one I have Trains Plus so I have access to Surveyor 2.0 and stuff so, and I've heard that Surveyor 2.0 makes making mountainous routes a lot easier. Uh, also, I do have a channel that you guys should check out. It's a, it's a guy by the name of Clearblock Productions on YouTube. Uh, I'm actually friends with them on Discord. So, yeah, you, I, yeah I'm not, they, they literally didn't tell me to say anything, but uh, they, their, their stuff's really good. It's pro. One could go to a stretch that it is better than mine, which is probably true. Uh, the production quality is probably a bit better. I gotta be honest, but uh, I I'm working on that. I'm working on trying to make the uh, production quality a bit better on my videos. Uh, once once I get a better microphone, I'm going to probably start doing like, real fitting videos of narration more, uh, th there's nothing wrong with the microphone I have right now, except for the fact that the, uh, 
except for a fact that it has, uh, like, except for it has, um, like, except for it, like, records, like, it's, it's not, like, a condenser microphone, I'm pretty sure is what it's called, so it doesn't have that good audio quality sound. It sounds okay. Uh, we are heading... Alright, Malpo, stop point one. The only tunnel on the line King can be seen at the end of the lake. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we are on our final leg of the journey for this episode. I, like I said, I, I'm, I, who knows, I might film the rest of this video later tonight. And here's a prime example of trains right here. The, uh, the, the bridge line's broken because this game just... I honestly have mixed opinions about this, about trains, as I don't, uh, I think Trains is a good game. It just has... It just has optimization issues. And uh, a lot of stuff that could be... That could be fixed. And make it a really good simulator. Just, I think that N3V... Just... I think that they've just started to neglect their game a lot. Now, I, I do, I do understand that this is Trains A New Era, not Trains 2019 or 2022. I will, hopefully, after I finish this, uh, first route that I'll be devel developing for you guys, I'll, I'll probably move all my stuff up into, uh, 22. And, uh... I know there's going to be multiple people who find, uh, that interesting, so, uh, we'll, we'll see how well my, uh, route that I create in Trains of New Era looks in, uh, 22, uh, and how many speed trees I'm going to have to add to the route to even make it look solid, because as far as I know, uh, 2D trees, which is what I'm going to be using so my frame rate doesn't absolutely, so my computer doesn't absolutely freaking die, uh, so my computer doesn't absolutely die, uh, trying to run the route, uh, I'm going to have to replace a lot of it with, uh, speed trees, which will make it kind of rough. Who knows, I might end up moving back to Trains in New Era because I find that, uh, the game, like, the more modern games don't really work right. Run the freaking town. Let's give her some s throttle. Ah, uh, this is Keen. The small town, the small town houses, the Eagle River Railway r repair and maintenance shops. Be sure to give the residents plenty of warning when you pass through. Well, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, I think this is going to conclude our, uh, our first video here. I'm going to... Get the thumbnail shot here. And then, uh, yeah. That'll be it for, uh... And that'll be it for uh, today's operation video. I want to thank everyone for watching this nearly this nearly hour long video here for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.